We're expecting to get fitted with our legs, our new legs, and being able to stand straight. Yes. That would be great. That would be a good goal. Post-polio syndrome is, is a collection of symptoms or things that happen, that appear to happen to people who've had polio often about 30 or 40 years um, before. And so the symptoms reappear, muscles may become re-paralyzed, fatigue increases. Some of those things that happen when they first got polio, they all start coming back. We've been, some people say, walking a marathon every day just to do a normal day's work. And the nerves and the muscles finally give up and say, we want to, don't want to do this anymore. No, we often get, wasn't polio cured? And no, we say we're still here and we're suffering the late effects of polio because it's not just normal aging. When we don't trust the limb, the human body will often make a compensatory gait pattern the opposite way that we should be moving, but we do it for good reasons, for safety and security. Almost like a racetrack. So type. when you give something where somebody could truly trust that limb again and have the foot underneath the body as it should be so that somebody could actually put weight on it, then the pelvis having it move in the right direction at the right time to regain efficiency. And if we stop the bodies from going side to side or even leaning forward, the amount of energy we save is tremendous. So Marmaduke Loke is a pioneer of a thing called triplanar orthotics in dynamic bracing. Normal orthotics just sort of hold you where you are and make sure that in your swing phase, when you're moving your leg, you don't trip up. But in the stance phase, when your whole body weight is on your leg, is what Marmaduke has done. So he's built an entirely new sort of brace that gives you back your natural way of walking if you hadn't had polio. Giving the muscles that are overworking, making them rest, bringing ones that should have worked and haven't been able to back, and the ones that are, are, are paralyzed often um, show an increased strength and durability because they're no longer being stressed. So it has quite a profound effect. It means we're no longer having to pull ourselves back from the wobbly sort of walk that we used to do. We can walk straight. What we're trying to do is educate uh, orthotists and prosthetists and, and physiotherapies in New Zealand about this new way of looking at orthotics. The basic concepts of realigning the foot in three dimensions. So at this workshop, we've got eight polio survivors, all at the moment really in need of, uh, of an ankle foot orthosis. We've got 14 orthotists from around the country and four prosthetists and then some physiotherapists. How's it feel, Gordon? And that's probably the first time in my life I felt that. That's weird. It's like, it's like the ankle wants to be there. And then this feels relaxed in a way that's really weird. Yes. Well, that was profound because that was the first time I'd ever felt truly balanced and my body was straight, my shoulders were straight and I had never felt my foot hit the ground and it come all the way up through the leg and feel that thing. did not actually really understand what he was doing. And seeing this now and understanding the realignment of all the bones so that it's truly functioning and truly getting a balance. It's wonderful, I don't have to look at ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. 
amazing how much effort it takes us more than just normal walking. I've fallen over many, many thousands of times. I'm really good at it. I would fall over 20 or 30 times a year at least. It's, yeah, the brain just stopped working. It's feeling so well. Yeah. I definitely feel like I'm shorter. There you go. But yeah. It's just such a new thing for your right leg and for your hips too, isn't it? Right. And all the, you know where you have all this pain across here? Yeah, like that's, yeah. Those muscles are so tight. For them to learn something new, yeah. you're going to need to massage them. Hey, to... Yeah, and it's the same with like feeling okay about pushing yourself forward. Because yeah. that's that psychic. You know, we were always taught as kids that you'll never cure polio. People were always telling me, oh, you've got to accept this. And there was part of me that would never accept this. It's like taking up a whole new sport. I and mean, this one's called walking. 